Day one, first shot with Lee. It's pretty great, it's a great location. Sons of Anarchy was fortunate in that it was in Northern California, we were in Southern California. Here we needed castles and we needed a different kind of artistry. After writing contemporary, mostly street dialogue and vernacular, to suddenly put myself in a different world and really trying to find the vernacular of that period. You know, I have nobles that speak one way and peasants and freemen that speak another way. Wealth is the foundation of any temple of power. Tell prices, man, the tariff just went up again. It's really challenging to have voices of status. There wasn't a lot of status distinction on Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> Riding to this world all alone. I just finished in treatment and glee and just the idea of filth on motorcycles. Just tawdry and not me. And then I started directing it and I got so involved with the people. And when you look at the Sons of Anarchy posse and you look at how that story was really told, a lot of it revolved around the loyalty that comes from men who work together in the trenches. I knew of Sons of Anarchy, but I hadn't seen it. And that was actually to my advantage because I think otherwise mm. I would have been like, you know, it would have made the whole audition process all the more scary. Ventresha will not suffer <laughs> lawlessness. It's definitely uh, working a different muscle and, uh, you know, it's a whole different rhythm and we'll see uh, whether or not it works. This may be the most drastic that I've done to my hair, I would say. She's not evil. She's very different than the character I played previously. I don't think I should say anything more. You should watch the show. <laughs>